I've had buyers ask me, you got two pieces of land, the exact same size, but one of them's priced half a million and the other one's $100,000. How does that happen? Hi everyone, I'm Peter Young, broker at Ameramont Real Estate in Manhattan, Montana. And one of the questions that comes up quite frequently is, how do you price bare land? Why is it that this five acre lot over here is two to three times more expensive than another one right over here? Well, you've probably heard the phrase in real estate, it's location, location, location. And yes, where your land is located is gonna determine how much you as the seller are gonna get paid for it, and as the buyer, how much you are gonna pay. Now, specifically, I think there's five criteria that help drive up the price of bear land. First and foremost, in Montana, we don't have a whole lot of ski resorts, but we do have one of the best in North America, that is Big Sky. It's got some great terrain, some of the best skiing you're gonna find. And just imagine, if you want your cabin right there for Thanksgiving and Christmas, you're skiing right out from that deck and you're onto the slopes, it's simple supply and demand, folks. You are gonna pay a pretty penny for that piece of land, but the memories are gonna make it worthwhile. Okay, number two is water. We have some of the best fly fishing waters in the lower 48. Think of Brad Pitt and a river runs through it. We have the Madison, the Gallatin, the Jefferson. We got some great lakes and reservoirs as well where you can fish, also go boating and water ski. So a lot of folks from outside the state are looking for water. Number three, views. Think Purple Mountains, majesty. This is big sky country, right? So you don't want to be looking out your back deck at someone's garage or shed or the back of their house. You want to see that expansive views of the mountains and the valleys. And we have a lot of that here in the Gallatin Valley of Montana. Okay, number four, public land. Like a lot of western states, Montana has a lot of public land, whether it's BLM, National Forest Service, or state land. So let's say you've got a one acre piece of ground, not very big. But if it borders public land, you go outside your back door and you're hiking and you are fishing or you are going horseback riding or hunting on thousands and thousands of acres. It's like you got this huge private playground outside your back door. Okay, number five, the last one, believe it or not, trees. So imagine you got that small piece of land and there's no trees on it. You're getting the wind, the tumbleweeds versus right next door. Same size of land, but you got the trees. So you got the privacy the birds, the wildlife, the changing colors come fall. And a lot of buyers, they're looking for a combination, two or three of these. So they want views and trees in the back for privacy, or they want water and views. Now, if you've got any kind of combination, two or three or more of these, as the seller, you're gonna get paid more money. And as the buyer, again, the price is gonna increase. But now that you know this, an educated buyer is a savvy buyer, and those are the ones who are gonna get the good deals. So if you have similar questions that you want, feel free to check us out online. We would love to answer any one of your questions.